What's going on guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you a quick way to put tattoos on yourself on Photoshop. God damn, dig it. Okay, so first thing first, open up Photoshop. Then you're going to need to go to your tattoo mock-up. So it could be some a tattoo that you've drawn, it could be from the internet. I'm going to use this one here. And then all you're going to need to do is line it up. So I'm going to resize it. Drag it across. By the way, I click Command T for the transform tool to be able to move it around. I'm going to scale up a little bit so it matches my arm as best as possible. That looks pretty good, but as you can see, it's not perfect. It's going to rotate it a little bit. So now what you're going to need to do is hit Command T again, but then hit this icon here. Now this is kind of like a warp mode, so it enables you to literally be very precise and move over to the actual perspective of how my arm actually is. So as you can see, it's looking more and more realistic, more and more sensational. Uh, a little bit here, let's tweak this a little bit. So just keep doing this until you get it as close to perfect as you can. Of course, it's not going to be crazy perfect, but you can get it pretty close. For me, this is looking pretty okay. Um, here you'll notice that there's a bit of white that I don't like, so I'm going to go here and find a magic eraser tool. It's basically where the eraser is. All you need to do is right click the eraser tool and click magic eraser. Select it, select the white part, bam, it's gone. Okay, now what you're gonna need to do, this is the most important part of this whole tutorial, is go over to the lay on the right side, click the blending options, and then click either overlay or soft light. For me, I'm gonna click soft light because it works slightly better. And as you can see, <laughs> it kind of looks like faded brown ink on my arm. And I personally think this looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it looks all right. Now, there's there's a way more complicated, way more advanced way to do this. I'll make a tutorial on how to do it, and it looks way better. But if you want to really quickly see what a tattoo would look like on you in like under five minutes, then this is the way to do it. And then what I would do is change the levels, like the curves, make it look slightly more realistic because right now it looks super fake <laughs> but you get a point you can really play around with it and make it look crazy and it's a quick and simple way I think it's a bit of fun also you don't have to do it with a sort of sleeve you can do it with individual items so for example we have a skull again the same thing we're gonna resize it Put it on a random position. I think that's way too big. I'm gonna scale it down a little bit. That's fine. Go to the right hand side, change the blending options to soft light. Hit command T again. Rotate it. I'm gonna put it. I think I'm gonna flip it upside down. Yeah. Rotate it. And then I'm gonna hit the transform tool warp it a little bit so it goes to the perspective the perspective of my actual arm make it look a bit more realistic then I'm going to type into Google tattoo PNG Photoshop you can find different images which look kind of cool for tattoo ideas so I'm just going to drag this across into my Photoshop but bam we're going to scale it up now again if you find an image that has like a white background or white around it that's fine all you need to do is go to the left hand side and click the magic eraser tool well, bam, and it's gone. I'm gonna move this up, scale this slightly down. <laughs> this, is, <laughs> this is pretty bloody interesting. Okay, then I'm gonna hit go to the right hand side again, change the blending options to soft light. Nah, I think that's too much. I'm gonna go to overlay, that looks fine. Change the opacity a little bit. Okay, come on T again, mess with the warp. I can literally <laughs> build my own sleeve, this is pretty interesting. I mean, you can really dive in to get it perfect with the blending options and the transform tool and warping it to make it look perfect, but this is really a quick tutorial. I wanna show you what you can do in under like, under six, under six minutes really. But yeah guys, <laughs> that's it if you like this video guys share subscribe comment like if you want to see me make another tutorial then let me know in the comments below 
also i released my presets yesterday so check them out for the link in the description if you end up using them tag me in them i'll repost them onto my instagram peace